Look at what's going on. Uh, we're going to start with some warm water, and uh, the water temperatures are very warm off the southeast coast. So why am I showing you this? Well, there's a hurricane that will be developing. Right now, it's still a tropical storm, but the models are all forecasting this particular storm named Florence to get into this water, and you need temperatures about 80 degrees for the storm to start intensifying. Once you get into the mid-80s like this, this thing can really take off. That's a lot of available energy from the ocean. So as that hurricane moves off towards the west and towards the southeast coast, it's definitely going to get stronger, at least in terms of the way we think it's going to happen with the computer model. So the first taste of fall here this weekend, a wet Monday, heat and humidity return after that. And then, as I just said, Florence is likely headed for the East Coast as the track takes it mainly towards the Southeast Coast. Some of the models recurve it east of us, but if you notice, most of the models are right in this little corridor here. There's a few outliers. It's always the case, but there's a lot of concentration towards the Southeast Coast and the Carolinas. If you have interest down there, this is the weekend to kind of start preparing. Governor of North Carolina has already declared a state of emergency, just to give you an idea of what they're thinking. So high pressure off to the north of us. It's going to keep us dry, but because the humidity is lurking off towards the south, the boundary between the humid air and the dry air will produce high clouds tomorrow. So tomorrow's not a wet day by any means. We will see no precipitation. But from southern portions of northern New England south, there's going to be a lot of high clouds. So when you look at the sun tomorrow, it'll have that milky appearance to it for a lot of the day. Then the humidity comes back here. It starts to really come in Monday afternoon and Monday night. And with it comes some showers. So I think that there'll be some shower activity Monday and Monday night, which will impact probably both commutes. It may impact the afternoon commute more than the morning. We'll try to hone that down for you a little bit tomorrow. All right, I'm backing up a little bit. High temperatures for today in the lower 70s and dew points right now in the 50s, but they will be going up. Those of you Cape in the islands, as you wake up and step outside, you notice it still feels a little bit muggy, but look what happens. The drier dew points get down to you during the day today and overnight. So by the time we get to tomorrow, it's really dry. It actually has a, a fall feel to the air. So for that football game, it will feel like football weather. And with all the dry air, temperatures tonight go down into the 50s. So the most comfortable night we've seen across all of New England since June. So it's been a while since we've seen anything like this. High temperatures tomorrow with the high clouds, the wind off the water stay in the 60s, so it's not a very warm day. Few events for tomorrow. One of them is at Lookout Farm in Natick. Uh, fall field temperature of 64 degrees is a festival there. You can check that out. And uh, if you're heading to the lakes and the mountains, temperatures in the 60s this weekend. And here we go with the seven day forecast. It's really a tale of two seasons. We've got the dry weather, the cool weather this weekend. Then the rain comes in. That's the leading edge of the humid stuff, and it's with us for all of next week and perhaps even through next weekend. So once the humidity comes back, it's going to be here for a while. Well, just great, Dave. Thanks a lot.